G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Depot Adventures. Today we are talking beer. My name is Hugo, I'm a tour guide in Melbourne, Australia. And if you know anything about Australians, well, we love beers. But something interesting has been happening in the beer world in Australia, but indeed around the world. It's been a transition from these things to these things. Bottles and cans, it's a big debate. Now, for a long time, of course, beer was only available in bottles until 1933. That is when the United States brought about the first beer can in the world. Now, it took another three decades or so for Australia to get on board, but after that, that was about all we drank from. And Victoria Bitter, in fact, was the beer that was first available in cans in Australia and has been pretty popular ever since. Now, beer cans have become kind of synonymous with mass-produced, lower-quality beer because of that reason. And bottled beer, in particular European lagers, were always seen as more premium and the kind of beers that you would get if you were going to a nice restaurant. What has happened in the last few years, though? Well, there has been a complete switch. In fact, the better quality beers you'll find from the craft breweries are far more likely to be served in a can. Now, why is that? Well, there's quite a few reasons, but it comes down to mainly two. Cost and quality. You see, beer is a product like any food that can go off. What makes beer go off? Oxygen and sunlight. UV are the two biggest contributors. So if you have a bottle of Corona, for example, well, you have UV light coming in and that is killing the beer inside. It's making it go off and making it skunky is the word we might use. If you've had a Corona that's been sitting out in a bottle shop exposed to light, then the beer that you are having is almost certainly off. A beer from a can, on the other hand, has been protected from, its, from the elements, from the aluminium seal that's here and therefore will always be fresher and will be less likely to be off. Uh, it also protects those hoppy beers that have come into popularity in the last few years, especially. Now, another thing is transport. These are much lighter than bottles as well, obviously. So it means that you can transport more cans at lower cost and overall less carbon emissions. It's better for the environment and aluminium is the one of the most efficiently recyclable materials in the world. So the transition from bottles back to cans, at least in Australia's craft beer scene, can only be seen as a good thing. A final point on this though, that uh, we've seen in the craft beer industry in Australia, a move towards this size can, a 500 or a 440 mil can. Why would that be? Well, like the rest of the world, we've started experimenting with bigger hopped beers, with more flavorful beers. And generally we're finding the market is moving towards purchasing one single can rather than a whole six pack of beer, which would be the norm. A whole slab case or six pack was kind of the norm for the most of Australia's beer drinking history. But now we're finding people are only purchasing one can. And if you're only gonna purchase one can, well, then you might as well make it a big one. You can make more money. There's also less materials that are going into a bigger can overall as well. So you'll see a lot more of these size cans in Australia and probably around the world too. So overall, it doesn't really matter what you drink from. Uh, if you've got a brown glass bottle, the beer's gonna be relatively fresh anyway. But the biggest tip is open up your vessel and pour it into a glass anyway. These what these are what the cans and glasses were designed to do anyway. So cheers, hope you've learned something today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because uh, there's plenty more content coming your way. Oh, jeez, it's looking good. Uh, and if you want to check out some Australian beers, my recommendation would be a local beer. It's definitely a beer company that I go to because I also own it. But there you go. Cheers. Mm. Oh, tasty.